All right, uh, we've learned how to bring media in from our tape-based cameras, and uh, now we need to take some time and learn how to bring it in from our tapeless cameras. In today's world, uh, more and more, the uh, cameras that are being shipped to the stores, especially in the consumer markets, are tapeless, and uh, they're recording to hard drives or media cards, and uh, we need to learn how to bring that into our computer and thus into EDIUS. The, the procedure is uh, quite a bit different than using the capture tool of EDIUS. Now, before you even start EDIUS, it's good to connect your camera. Most uh, of these tapeless cameras connect to your computer using a USB cable. And if you're not sure how to connect your camera to your computer, you might want to dig out your manual and uh, find out how to do that. Uh, every camera seems to do it in a little bit different way. I have uh, this palm quarter from Sony and uh, it has actually a base unit for charging and for sending uh, a signal out, a USB signal out. And so if I want to connect my camera to the computer, I actually have to have that uh, charging base unit and have the camera plugged into that before I can get a signal coming from my camera to my computer. And so go ahead and get out your manual if you're not sure how to do that and it should describe in detail how you can connect to your computer. Now uh, with my camera even after I make the connection uh, with the USB cable uh, there's a couple more steps I have to do in order to have the camera shake hands with Windows. Go ahead and turn your camera on and in my case, I have to open up my little viewfinder at the side and actually touch the screen where it says USB Connect. And then we hear uh, Windows give its little signal that uh, a new device has been attached. And a little window pops up showing that, uh, in essence, I have a, a new hard drive that's been attached to the computer. And I could actually even go and open this folder. And if I wanted to, I could even find the media itself. I believe in my case it's uh, in the stream folder and here we see all of my shots showing up here in this browser. Well what I could do is actually just uh, open up another folder from another hard drive on my computer, uh, select all and drag and drop all of these files to my hard drives and then open EDIUS and import them into the bin that way. However, with uh, version 6 of EDIUS, there is a new tool called a source browser that's very handy and I'd like to show you how you can use that to sort through the media that uh, is stored on the hard drive of your camera and maybe choose only 10 or 15 shots to bring into a project uh, by going through them in a source browser. Alright, uh, instead of uh, opening up the project that we have been working on in these tutorials, the uh, Ethiopia project, I'm going to uh, go ahead and uh, start a new project uh, because I know that the little palm quarter that I use to uh, capture family events uses a different preset than my HDV camera. So I want to start a new project and use the uh, preset uh, for that particular camera. I know that uh, it is shooting high definition, uh, so we can go ahead and just accept this. I know that it is shooting in uh, 1920 by 1080, but it's not shooting at 59.94. So what we can do, well, first of all, let's give our project a name. This is, most of this is going to be shots of the new baby. So let's type in that as our project name. And uh, let's go with the preset that best matches what we uh, know that our camera has shot in and then go down and customize that and hit OK. And uh, from our project settings uh, customization box we can now go in and change this to match the setting that uh, this footage was shot in. And here it is uh, here the 1920 by 1080 shooting at 29.97 progressive. Alright and Everything else is fine, so we can go ahead and hit OK. Now, since we're going to be working primarily with the bin window and our preview window, in order to make more space for these two main windows, we can go ahead and close the timeline window and uh, perhaps bring our bin window down and uh, slide it right across. So we have lots of room in our bin window. We can probably bring it up some. We won't need a lot of uh, room to take a look at uh, 
the shots. Uh, we can even maybe change this to be the uh, single mode. Now the new tool in version 6 of EDIUS is called the Source Browser and uh, this allows us to go in and uh, actually see, take a look visually at the media that is on a camera that's connected to your computer through a USB cable or also take a look at the media that may be on a CD or a DVD disc. Now, if when you started up uh, EDIUS for the first time, you look through your bin window and you look through your palette windows and you just don't see this source browser showing up anywhere, it didn't uh, the first time I fired up uh, EDIUS version 6 and uh, I had to go searching for it and uh, found uh, under the view menu, if you scroll down and what I did was just clicked on the source browser once and that brought that tab into my bin window and uh, now I have a source browser in my bin window. And uh, what you can do, if you take a look over at the side here, you'll notice that under the removable media tab, we see the camera that I plugged in, the AVCHD camera. And uh, so when I click on this, what uh, EDIUS will do is go ahead and look at the hard drive of my camera and start displaying the various clips that I have recorded to my palm quarter. And depending on how much media you have on your hard drives, this might take a minute to uh, populate the bin. And the really nice thing about this uh, tool is just uh, as it's called, the source browser, we can actually bring any of these uh, media clips into our preview window and uh, take a look at it. Now the media has not yet uh, come into your computer. We're still just displaying it from the hard drive that's located on the camera itself. And so the idea here is that uh, you can go through these clips, take a brief look at uh, the ones that you might want to include, scroll through them, and as you discover clips that you would like to bring into your project, then uh, by holding down your control key, you can select as many as you like. You could select uh, the first clip in a series and uh, scroll down to that point uh, where you uh, find your last clip and by holding your shift key down and clicking on that last clip in your series, you've now selected a whole group from your first clip down to your, your last clip. Or if you wanted to transfer all of the material from your uh, camera's hard drive, you could uh, use the control A key to select all of the clips on your hard drive. Now you're not restricted to this view of your clips. If you go over here and uh, select this down arrow, right now we're looking at the large thumbnail. We could choose a smaller thumbnail representation which would show us more clips uh, in our source browser at once. Or we could uh, use this selection to give us uh, more text-based information and uh, you can uh, take a look at uh, some of your other options here. With the text-based media, this gives you the option of uh, sorting clips if you feel that they're not quite uh, in the order that they were shot. As I take a glance at these, they don't seem to be in a real good order of the way they're shot for some reason. So uh, we can go here to record date time and sort on that field. And now EDIUS should uh, sort these out based on the date that they were shot. And now we can go down to the bottom of our list and pick our group of shots based on the date that they were shot. And I know, for example, that uh, the video that I've been commissioned to edit uh, by my wife, the shots start on the 24th of December and... Uh, range up to today's date and so I'm just going to select that whole area here and once I've made the selection of the shots that I want to bring in from my camera's hard drive I can now go over to this symbol here add and transfer to bin and if you want to see the progress of this transfer you can go to show background job up here at the top and uh, click on that and in this little uh, dialog box, you can keep an eye on the progress of that transfer. So we see that the uh, progress uh, is a little bit slow. You might uh, want to, at this point, take a break and let the computer do its thing. 
Now, you might be asking, uh, hold on, Edius didn't ask me where I wanted to transfer those files to. And you're right, it didn't. And so what is happening is Edius is transferring those files to the project folder that you started. And so if you wanted these files to be transferred to a different hard disk on your system than your project folder, then what you would want to do is at the beginning of uh, starting a new project, then you would want to change the designation of uh, where your project is being saved to. And wherever you save your project, that's where these files would be transferred to. Okay, we're back and uh, we see that uh, they've all come in. Let's close this window and switch over to our bin window. And sure enough, they're all here now in our bin window ready to go. Now, you may be saying, okay, what happened to our timeline window and how do we get it back? Well, you might remember from one of our earlier tutorials that uh, we can save uh, window layouts once we've got something that we like. So we could go to our window layout and uh, either hit normal, which would get us back to a factory default setting, or we can go and take a look for one of those layouts that we may have designed uh, earlier. And we're quickly back to uh, a layout that is convenient for editing. And uh, we could uh, go ahead and uh, grab a, a bunch of these and throw them down on the timeline and be ready to uh, put together a very fast edit. Now some of you might be wondering how Edius handles this AVCHD. Some of the other uh, video editing programs out there uh, have a hard time playing this material in real time when it's on the timeline. And uh, so let's take a look and see how Edius 6 does with this material. And it seems to be playing it uh, for the most part in real time. If you notice just kind of a little jitter there, like it might be a little bit sluggish, uh, we have to remember that in recording these tutorials, we have another program running in the background that does take a lot of resources away from Edius. And so as we go through these tutorials, you may notice that Edius is just a little bit sluggish uh, because this other program is in the background stealing resources away from Edius. But uh, I'm quite happy with the way Edius 6 is playing this, this material. Now, some of you might be saying, you know, I hooked up a, uh, a camera to the system and uh, it seems to be uh, causing problems. It's, uh, the program seems to be stalling out on me and even not really freezing up, but it's, it's, uh, it's not really recognizing the camera. I noticed that as well as I was preparing this tutorial, hooking up my Sony camera after Edius had started seemed uh, to cause a problem. And, and uh, so I found the solution to that was uh, to simply connect the camera before I fired up Edius. And uh, then it did show up here under removable media. Uh, it shows the hard drive that uh, Windows has assigned the camera and then uh, shows the media on the hard drive under AVCHD. If I had some still shots uh, also on that hard drive, they would uh, also show up under that. Now, I have tried uh, hooking up my 7D camera. My Canon uh, 7D camera is a still camera, but it also shoots video. And for some reason, Edius did not uh, recognize that as a hard drive. But uh, no real worries. Uh, if you have uh, one of these cameras that Edius does not recognize with this source browser tool, you can simply hook it up to Windows, and once you have it in Windows, copy that material over to another hard drive or with a card reader. You could send that material over to your hard drive, just like you send still shots, and then uh, have Edius import the material into the bin. Let's go ahead and just show a quick sample of that. Now, before we uh, do that, I should mention that uh, it's a good practice to, when you are removing your uh, video camera from the system, to actually go through the step of safely removing it like you would an external hard drive. So let's do that. Uh, open up. Uh, Windows safe remove hard drive and find it in your drop down list there and uh, in this case it is the HDR SR12 removable disk let's just click that and we'll get the safe to remove and then you can turn your camera off and unplug it from your system okay so I've uh, grabbed my 7D camera and I'm going to plug it into the computer Fire it up. Uh, Windows recognizes it. 
And if I do a Windows E and uh, check out my Explorer window, I see it uh, showing up under Portable Devices under Windows 7 and can open it and uh, then actually open up the hard drive and select the folder and, uh, and search for the video that I've shot on this particular card. And uh, we find it here, uh, about nine or ten shots. So with the shift key we can grab those shots, open up uh, the uh, explore window, find another hard drive that we can pop this onto, make a new folder, And uh, now we can just simply drag and drop from our camera. And uh, once they're over to a hard drive, we can import them into EDIUS. And uh, we'll show you how to do that in a sec. All right. Now we noticed uh, the preview window is showing up uh, as being offline. And that's because it was displaying a shot that was actually coming from the hard drive of the camera. And so it's because it's no longer online, it's showing like that. Uh, but uh, we know that from our bin, the media has been transferred to the hard drives of our computer and, uh, and uh, so everything is online. So now we wanted to show how we can import uh, material from tapeless cameras uh, without using the browser. We've just transferred uh, about 10 shots from a 7D camera. Now we can go find that folder. And one of the ways that you can bring media into uh, EDIUS from your hard drive is through this little icon here, uh, the little file folder. And uh, just click on that. And that'll open up a, uh, a pop-up window that uh, works a lot like Windows Explorer. And you can navigate through all of your hard drives. Um, that material went to the F drive. And here's our folder, Canon 7D. And so now just select all and uh, hit open and EDIUS will bring those in. And we now have those showing up uh, in our bin. Okay, I believe that does it for importing media from tapeless cameras.